We're back with the Bad Vibe Podcast with Dwight and Jeremy. I'm Dwight. I'm Jeremy, and... It's raining. It's raining. It's not raining men. No, it's raining, uh, you know, water. Cats and dogs, I think. It's raining. The funny thing is, it's been it's sprinkled all day. And I, just when we started to push play on the podcast, it started pouring down rain. Yeah, we, we get in the truck and we're like, all right, you ready? You ready? Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. And then all of a sudden it starts pouring. It looks like hurricane weather. It sounds really bad. So if you're like, oh, they should have done it. Oh, fuck you. You know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're doing it out in the fucking nature, the way God would have wanted it. Yeah, well, I mean, we're not out in the rain. We're in the podcast truck. Yeah. And... It's raining, and you hear, you're you hearing... It actually doesn't sound that loud if you're <laughs> just in the truck. It loud. sounds loud as shit right here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's hitting the, the roof and the windshield and everything. So we're we're going to have the studio soon, we hope. Yeah, Jeremy's going to go work on his house tomorrow. Maybe in the next, I don't know, couple, couple of months or so. Hopefully sooner than that, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because at least there, it, the rain... A couple of months. Y'all have y'all have owned the house for like 10. Yeah, I know. But we're poor. We can't afford people to fix it. Yeah. It's... You always got to have this, like... I know this guy that knows a guy that can yeah. get it done for cheap. Yeah, and cheap always comes at a cost. Yeah, well, he's working, so he'll be able to... That sucks. Cheap always comes at a cost. It's like, oh, he won't charge you much, but, uh, you know, your house might fall down in a year. Yeah. No, the guy that's doing the work, my father-in-law, he does, he's done a good job. But if you wanted to blame somebody... It's fucking coming down, dude. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. If you wanted to blame somebody for the bad sound quality, you could blame me because I'm too much of a bum to have a house. I mean, I have an apartment, but... My wife and son's in there, and that'd be weird. It, it it would be. We would have to do it like in the bathroom or something, just to get away from them. But there's not even a carport we can park under. No, we're pretty much. Just you know, actually, out. this one might be better to do over at your house because the trees. Uh. You know, parking under the trees. Maybe it wouldn't be so loud. I don't know. I mean. I don't want limbs falling out. Some of those, there's some limbs that barely hang. So when it's raining or windy, I don't like to park on them. That added a lot of kick to our podcast, having a branch come through the windshield. <laughs> yeah, I know. It would probably bump us up to like five listeners. Yeah. Well, I mean, they'd have to hear it to find out that they like it anyways. Yeah. We, we, uh, we need to have a, uh, we're going to have a call-in guest. Yeah, once we get the studio up and going, uh, we're going to set up some, some guests. So, I don't know, comedians or anybody, it doesn't matter, can uh, call on there and talk for about 20 minutes or so if you want. You know? Yeah, 20, 30 minutes or whatever you want to do. Yeah, because we're not going to do them much longer than 30, 40 minutes because uh, we're poor. We don't really know how that works. I don't want it to take 45 minutes to, you know, just send an email. Because even the email sometimes takes a fucking long time. How do you think the pros do this shit? I don't know. Because, see, I put it on my Dropbox or something. I don't even know what the fuck Dropbox is. Mm. I put it on my Dropbox or I email it. And I don't know. Make it... Hey, look. It sounded like it was slowing down a little bit. A little bit. Oh, and it's coming back. But, uh... Huh? It's fucking loud. It really is. When you stop talking, I can hear, like... It sounds like gunshots going off. <laughs> it feels like we're doing a podcast from fucking Baghdad or some shit. <laughs> we, uh, we probably should have just said we were in some war zone and we're in Syria or something. That, that is really, really bad. I mean, it was it was sprinkling when we walked out here. When I got, when I, uh, I guess about an hour and a half before we did it, when I got home from the thing, it wasn't, it was like a sprinkle where you could walk like 50 feet and like maybe two drops would hit you. It was like every once yeah. in a while a drop. And I was yeah. like, oh, this would be good. And then as soon as we push play on the podcast, it's fucking, it's just like a deluge. It's like fucking, I hope I don't get stuck. No, I doubt it. Not stuck, but my truck spins out a lot. You got some bald tires or what? No, it's just the truck's light. It spins easy. Yeah. People are like, we've been listening for five minutes. All they talk about is rain. 
spinning out. Like, <laughs> yeah, and fuck off if you don't want to listen yeah, to it. Fuck. It's part, This one is going to be titled, uh, you know, something to do with the rain. Yeah. So you're going to know what you're getting into. Yeah, you're you're going to know that it's just a rainy podcast. It's uh. And we're both tired. <laughs> well, you're probably going to hear a lot of yawns. We just got back from a football game. It's after midnight already. Yeah. We usually do them late, but... This is really late. It's it, Yeah, it's late, but it's also... Whenever you go to a football game, like in this case it's a high school game, where you care about the outcome of the game, and then it's a close game, which this one was, it's like you use up all your energy. Yeah. So when it's over, you have this really, really high during the game, and then you crash when it's over. It's really hard to explain unless you like do something like that. It's during the game. I could you could lift a car up like you have so much adrenaline. And, and then right at, right after it's like those five hour energies. About thirty minutes well, after the game's later. over, you got nothing left. Yeah, I'm exhausted, and I, it's not like I played in the game. Hey, uh, it's still there, but what? I think it's barely even raining, but you hear it crazy on the fucking in the headsets. You know. Yeah, it's actually hardly raining at all. It's barely raining, but it sounds That's like... That's crazy, because what are we hearing? I don't know, dude. When I take Just... my headsets off, I don't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> but when I listen to what's well, going on... I can barely... Out... Oh, yeah, so you can hear it fading <laughs> off. I had to, like, pause, you know? Yeah. Still, to them, they're like, God, oh, they don't want to hear this. No, Especially you know what? If they're, what if they're listening to it in the rain? <laughs> so they got, like, <laughs> they it's, shit. like, double the rain power. In Here's what I say... A lot of times on radio shows or podcasts, people don't like when there's like a long, awkward, like dead air. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no dead air on this one. There's no. always some sound going through. Yeah. It's either our stupid shit or it's the fucking... Yeah, it's just rambling on about the rain or it's raining. Yeah, people are like, I hate rain. I bet we're not real popular in the Seattle area. Yeah, Seattle's like, oh gosh. More rain. It's probably finally a sunny day and they're like, I think I'm going to take a walk in the park and listen to a podcast. Yeah. These guys look nice. And they put it in, it's rain and rain talk, and they're like, yeah. just fuck it. They jump off the bridge. <laughs> they're just like, one day without rain, please. That's all I asked for. <laughs> I just wanted to walk my dog and listen to a podcast. And they listen to ours. I doubt there's anybody, I don't know. I doubt there's anybody in Seattle going to walk their dog and listen to our podcast. That's what I was going to say. Like, I mean, maybe, I don't know. What's the chances? That we have fans in yeah, Seattle. Yeah, now someone's going to... It's it's a sunny day in Seattle. Someone's walking their dog. <laughs> Want to listen to a podcast. They listen to this. And it's about rain. And then that we say that there's a guy walking his dog. And he's like, it's me. They're talking about me. Right? <laughs> the circle of life. Yeah, that doesn't sound anything like this. You were supposed to do the uh, African humming in the background. How does it go? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how it goes. Nah, that part. <laughs> yeah. I like that's my favorite part. I wish I could. And then you turn it off. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how it starts, and you're like, "All right, well, that was good." They my favorite part way. is when the monkey says, "He's like, he's a. Uh, I guess he's gonna go help Simba like save the day." And he's like, "Follow Rafiki. He knows the way." How um? I fucking like that part. Why did he have like a Jamaican accent or something? Did he? I'm a, I don't, or it was just like an African. It, it was, I guess, it was supposed to be African, but it does come off as kind of Jamaican. And uh, what I don't get is, and no one else talks like that. No, no, everybody else speaks with a, a, an American. I mean, accent. The, the, the kid off of Home Improvement. Yeah, I wonder. I bet he made some good fucking money off of that. And then who was the other one? Scar. No, no. I mean, Simba when he's older. Oh, I have no idea. Who the fuck was it? It, it makes me think of uh, uh, Ferris Bueller. I don't know. I, don't I can't even remember is. what he sounded Someone like. out there is like, you fucking idiots. You fucking idiots. It's not fucking Ferris Bueller. You know? I, heard I can't a, uh, think of who it is. This is a, I heard a joke one time from this comedian. I can't remember his name or I'd say it. But he's, he's talking about uh, the Lion King. And he's talking about how in the beginning when they're kids... Uh, Nala beats up Simba. Like, Simba. <laughs> she beats up Simba. Like, they wrestle and she wins, right? Mm-hmm. And then later, when he's living with the pig and that weird-looking thing, 
she is hunting and she finds him and they fight again and she wins again. Yeah. And Can then you again. That's how she says it. Yeah, person. she beats him. She's up. all like ghetto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like some she's old white kid, black. and she's like, pinned you again. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. how she says it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what she says. I haven't seen it no more. No, I may be mumbling, but... <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so anyway, so she beats him up every time they fight, even when they're grown. Mm -hmm. But then she's like, Simba, you gotta come and save the day, because, you know, Scar's the best. Why don't she save the day? She's clearly tougher than him. Yeah, clearly, she didn't need his help. Yeah, she didn't need his help at all. Unless... Right. Unless in the lion, like, in that world... The well, that, that's like lion. Rocky going up to Mickey and be like, man, this guy keeps beating me up at work. Can he come help? <laughs> you know, like... Mickey's like, I got him, Rock. You know, yeah. like, no. Stay down, Rock. That's just, I don't know. People are like, what the fuck? <laughs> but How do we get into the... I don't know, but... The Lion King, anyways. But how? why is it that in the Lion... All right. The Lion King, when he's growing up, he's going to be the king, right? Yeah. But then uh, his dad dies, and he feels ashamed. Was I don't remember. Was the, Scar gonna try trying to kill him too? Uh, Scar, oh yeah, Scar tried to. He tried to make him feel bad about it. But he didn't try to kill him. Yeah, he wanted him dead. He wanted him and his dad dead. Yeah, he wanted them both dead, so he would take, you know, the spot of being king. Because if Simba's still alive, then he's the next heir. Still. What do they have records? Right? Ow. The lines have records written down. Oh, Simba's the heir, and if he's... Yeah, like, hold on, hold on, here's the next reading. You know, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? The, the... You know? And, and here's the biggest problem. Half of the cave goes to... You know, like... <laughs> yeah. There's, like, a will reading. <laughs> they always say the line is the king Rafiki, of the jungle. Rafiki would have to do it, right? Oh, yeah, he's got little scrolls. But they say... Follow the Rafiki, he knows the will. They say the lion right? <laughs> is the king of the jungle. That whole movie doesn't... It, it's not... He isn't the king of the jungle. It's just the Pride Lands. The part he's the king of is like grassland. Well, he ends up going to the jungle. But not the king. Yeah, and then he goes out to be the king. So what the fuck were they trying to tell us? The lion's the king of the jungle, right? He goes to the jungle where he's not the king. Yeah. And he, he leaves when he finds out that he is a king. He leaves the jungle. And he goes back to the fucking... The desert. Prairie. The desert. Yeah, there's there's hardly any grass. Oh, there's the part where they're like pouncing on Iago, or is it Iago? Iago. No, I don't think it's Iago. Iago Montague. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, no, Iago. What the fuck? The Iago? bird. Iago's the fucking bird on Aladdin. What the fuck? <laughs> are you talking about? <laughs> it's we, all we've been watching shit. Aladdin a lot. Like, no, Aladdin's way better than that. Better than Lion well, King. Well, they're just they're di they're good on different it's levels. It's people. Yeah. It's not lions with American accents that live in, I guess... Uh, do you think... When do you think that takes place? What do you think is the time period? Of what? Of the Lion King. It could be any time. I know, but do you think it's before people or after... Or with people? Uh, you know, yeah, there's people somewhere, because they're not all... You know what I mean? No, but what I'm... But my point is, what if... You know how, like... Like around, uh, like, Indian cowboy and Indian time? No, I'm just... Uh, like, what are you trying to talk about? Like, what? All right, I gotta... But before people existed? Yeah. The, they look like regular lions, though. Back then, I, would, I wouldn't think lions look like lions. You know what I mean? Well, it has to be long enough ago that they talked. Dude. When did they... <laughs> no, but really? look, here's my point. What if the Lion King is a story passed down through lions to their kids? Yeah. But what they don't get is the the original story of Simba and Mufasa and all that. They were in like a, a wild game reserve and didn't know it. Like the whole Simba story takes place inside of a like hundred acre high fence, and they don't know it. So it's, here comes the rain again. Yeah, here <laughs> comes say. the rain, dude. Um, no, remember when they're up on like Pride Rock and he's like, "So what all is that?" He's like, "Everything the light touches." Uh huh. That's everything. Well, is, is it when it gets dark? Then you don't. It's not his. Yeah, it's not his anymore. It's dark. You like fuck. They're gonna fucking kill me in the night. <laughs> it's not the king when it's at night. Isn't it kind of silly that there's a king? Yeah, that's kind of stupid. You know, like that's how you can know it was back. Cause I mean, well, even England has. <laughs> you know, it's stupid that they people, have a queen. That's stupid. People follow that. And they're like, well, that's the queen. And like, long live the queen. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's stupid. I hope the cunt dies. I mean, like, Knights of the Round Table and shit like that. I mean, like, like, they, they're they basically, you know, like, when you're a little kid, or, like, a, if you have a little daughter, and she's like, we're going to have a tea party, Daddy, and I'm the princess. They're still doing that as a country. 
That's little girls grow out of it when they're like seven. It's just like a tradition thing, you know, like it's stupid. They just, yeah. But Americans are more guilty than anybody. Whenever one of those stupid fucking inbred bastards is gonna get married, you're blinding me. Americans eat that shit up. They're like, I gotta watch Prince whatever get married, and oh, he's gonna marry Kate, and they're gonna have kids. And like, why would you care? Why, why did people get so? Upset I didn't go to your wedding about Princess Diana. Yeah, she died. Remember? I mean, I remember there was like the two dollar bill or whatever, <laughs> yeah, the fake two dollar or three dollar bill with her face on, it, and I was like, I even remember, then, I was a little kid, and I was like. Why does she get I remember thinking, American like, like, money princess. with her face on it? Why would we call her princess? American money with her face on it. It wasn't real money, was it? No, it's a, you can buy it at convenience stores. It was a long time ago. But it was around the time that she died or whatever. And I was like, even then, I was a kid. And I was like, really? Yeah, I remember thinking, like, princess. Everybody was all like, oh, what am I? Oh, she was so sweet. and You know, oh, whatever. Yeah, she was probably blowing the guy that was driving. That's why he lost control of the car. That's how she died? Fucking whore. They got in a car accident? Yeah. I was a little kid. I haven't cared since. <laughs> the fucking... Uh, There's a lot of people who are like... <laughs> you know? <laughs> they get all like, uh, you know, beat up about it. You don't know her. You no. know? I mean, you don't. It's it's not even... It's like it was someone that was trying to like, you know, like help out your country. It was another fucking country. It was another country and she was in... The, a princess. She was in the rolling class of another country. Where was Mario. You know? Where was Mario? Why couldn't he save her? Bowser wrecked the vehicle. He was trying to get away with her. No, but that's most likely what happened. Did they both die or did did she just die? No, I think there was more I think there were several people in the car and like two died or something. Like a couple princesses? I think there's only one princess. If there is more than one, is it like Prince I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A prince. What's crazy is that people... A prince. Uh, okay, people care that she dies. That's one thing. Why would... Like, it's weird that people know who they are. Mm-hmm. They're just people who live... Like the ones that had the kid? In a shit country. That's her yeah. son had a kid. Her son? Yeah. She had kids? Yeah. I don't know. Princess died. Yeah, that, she did. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, she did. Her son that just had a kid. You gotta shorten her name. Or maybe has two kids. They said all of princess. They call her Die. They said all of princess, a word that doesn't mean anything. Princess Die. Like, what does princess mean? Well, that means my dad. People are fucking stupid, right? Real stupid. Fucking stupid. They care about the wrong fucking thing. If you say President Bush or President Obama, President actually means something. That Mm. is the title of his job. Yeah. When you say Princess Diana... <laughs> she was born in royalty? Yeah. Oh, gosh. The, the, they believe that it's, like, ordained by God that she's, like... That's the fucking craziest thing I've ever... We, like, Americans revolted from that, and that was, like, you know, we broke away and be our own country. It's an entertainment thing. We watch cartoons and stuff. It's just and like, like Kardashian princesses and stuff. stuff. You know, there's, like, princesses and, and stuff. You know, like, up in the little castle. Oh, all yeah, that shit. Snow White and, you know, and then, the Apple and all and, that. And then this, it's, like... I mean, come on, it's fairy tale shit. Get the fuck over yourselves. <laughs> and she, see, the old, the queen is who is, like, in charge, you know, air quotes. Is she really, though? No, well, <laughs> remember on, uh. She's not really in charge, whereas, like, she's not, like, she doesn't say, like, no bread for the peasants. <laughs> but she's, she's the head. I mean, she just, her job is to be the queen. Like, she's very, very wealthy. Mm-hmm. She doesn't uh, really do anything. She just sits, I guess, on a. What's it called? Like a throne? I don't know. She really I have a it? feeling people bring her like grapes. Does she have like a jester? Right? I hope so. so. Some guy goes over there with a weird looking fucking hat with bells on it and he's like dancing. Well, they have... See, if if I had that, I'd want like Doug Stanhope to be my... <laughs> yeah. You know, like Doug Stanhope, pay Doug, like, like Ari a billion fucking... or something, you know? Pay, pay Doug like a billion euros a year. Doug Stanhope's over there smoking a fucking cigarette, drinking a beer, like... You know, like... He's Wear, got a crown. <laughs> wearing his wearing his little like jester hat with a leisure suit with their with their suit that's half one color, half the other. The legs are the opposites. That's just it's just stupid. pajamas, but with, like the legs are opposite. Yeah, yeah, that's stupid. But if if she, all right, I mean, like that right there, you know, and that that's not like you know whatever. But I mean, there's like fairy tales <laughs> about that. Yeah, let's say that you grew up like let's say like out, your son. He grows up and he just somehow never watches the news mm-hmm. and never finds out what the government in England's like, right? 
And then when he's grown, if you were to flip on the news and it was kind of, say, a little grainy or something, so he didn't couldn't tell it was news, and it was showing a royal wedding, he would just assume it was a Disney movie. Yeah, it's some movie. He would ne- He would be like, "Wait, that 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 was that movie was kind of boring." You're like, "Oh no, that was news." And he's like, "There's no princess." You're like, "Yeah, there's prince, princess, prince, duke, like, really, duchess, the duke, the grand duke." Yeah. Really? It sounds like a big I mean, come turn. on. Some guy's like a excited to be. Today. Some guy's excited to be the Grand Duke. I, I just, it blows what, there, my There's mind. more of them, though. What are the more? Oh, there's there's stupid Duke, ones. Duchess is like the feminine of a Duke. Count and Countess? Man, we used to have a dog named Duchess. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> there's something fucking on my foot. You can't something. blame that on the rain. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking, it sounds like when a mouse gets in a trash can. Um, but, yeah, so when the queen... The queen is like 150 years old. How old is she really, though? She's old, old. I don't know how old, but she's like, like When she old. dies, who gets the throne? The dude that got married. William or something? Is it William? It's always William. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, really it has, is. I think it has to be William. The only time it wasn't William was when it was King Ralph. Like, like when you think... Oh, that movie? Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, that movie. was pretty good, yeah. He made a mockery. Of what we're joking about now. Yeah, but hold on. What is... Like, it seriously is like, like William a lot, right? Well, that's just, it's just, that's just a common English name. William George. I'm pretty sure that that... The William or whatever, the one that's going to be king one day... I think his son's name is like George. But what I was thinking... So then that's going to be the king one day. Yeah. That's stupid. No, no, no. It's been the queen, like, a long time. When did her her husband die or whatever? I don't even know who the fuck her husband was. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, like, always just been her, right? For a long time. Remember on uh, Naked Gun? (laughs) (laughs) He, like, tackles her or whatever. He, like, slides on the table. (laughs) And her legs are up and he's sliding down the table. They get a picture of him. You know, when I was a kid, I was like, damn, they got the queen to be in that movie. (laughs) I swear to God, I thought it was really her. I was like, she seems pretty cool to be in a, you know, in like a funny movie. Yeah. And it didn't occur to me that, you it's know, like just, we have Secret yeah. Service for the president, they wouldn't let you do that. Yeah. Why would they let the queen get like molested by Leslie Nielsen? Just for a movie. For when, a, not when, even a big, bu- like it was just like a comedy movie. It was just movie. a stupid movie, yeah. Yeah, I'm Googling right now. Uh, Dude, the internet has fucking sucked today. Uh, was yours horrible? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really use it. I was trying to get on there all day. <laughs> I typed in Queen into Google, and the top choice was Queen Elizabeth. The second one was Queen Latifah. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I just, can't stand Queen Latifah, dude. I like her more than I like this one. Than the real queen? Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't... Well, make... what they say. Oh, oh real... you want to know how fucking faggot this shit is? What? This is the headline of the thing that I gotta click on to find out about her. Alright. Her Majesty the Queen. Her Majesty. Yeah, Her Majesty the Queen slash the British Monarchy. Oh, God. That, like, I wanna go I wanna go over there with guns and just kill. Not any of the common people. Just those pale, pasty fucking Hold on. Okay, if you like took out like the top like twenty people. There's a line that goes way down. So where some guy's like working at fucking McDonald's in London. Yeah, probably. And he's like, holy fucking shit. Because apparently if you're if you're there in London, like some people I guess... And they all love the shit out of her, right? I don't think so. I think, I think that they just respect it the way for, that like... For our uh, England lovers. I would say they love her more than we do. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're like, ugh. We're getting like disgusted. I mean, look at her. She just looks like a dumb grandma. Yeah, she does. <laughs> like, she looks... Yeah. She looks like she would say stuff racist, but doesn't mean it. Just don't know better. Yeah. You're watching TV with her. She's like, I'm listening, bud. Right? It seems like it seems like if you brought your friend over that was black, she'd be like, that colored boy sure was nice. Yeah, you know? like she doesn't mean it. Yeah. That stupid old bitch. How old is she, does it say? I'm fixing to find out. Holy shit. You know one thing that I'm always proud of? Is whenever you look up somebody and then you see on there, and it shows two dates. You know? I can't wait till this one has two dates. You know, I guess you get it. Yeah, that means she's dead. Yeah. Whenever it shows the second, we're like, oh, okay, good. You knew I got it. You just but, wanted to make sure the listeners did. Yeah. Look, she her reign started on the on February 6th, 1952. She's been the queen since 1952. What? By herself? No, I mean, like, her the, the king or whatever. She. Okay. 
coronation. Dude, that's was fifty-two a- years. She was preceded by George. I guess they're doing all right, though, right? What do you mean? I mean, it's not like they have money like, wise. Uh-huh. I'm sure her bills are all paid. Yeah. She needs to do something about their dental. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Queen of England has all these fucking perks, but no dental. Once there's a new one, you know, like what if they elected them? You know. It, that would make more sense. Yeah, but I mean, if they elected the, if they still elect the king. You know, oh, you like, want to see the most fucked up thing about how fucking worthless these pieces of shit are? Hmm. All right, she's wearing some kind of faggy little badge thing. A badge? She's dressed like a grandma in the seventies, even. All right, look, this is what she's been. She's been the queen of the United Kingdom, which is, the, you know, England, and then like parts of Scotland that they didn't yeah. give back, and part of Ireland. All right, this is the other stuff. Canada, this is what she's over. Canada, Australia. Are you over Canada? Uh, yeah, New Zealand. All right, until 1956, she was over Pakistan. Until this, okay, I'm just going to tell the current ones now. There's a bunch. The list is, what do you say that is, like 30 and what all countries? she's over? Or has been. Some of them she isn't anymore. Jamaica still. Did you know that? Jamaica? I didn't even know Jamaica was in, I guess I knew it was an English settlement because they speak English, but... She's over. To, so does that mean she goes to visit all of her places and she's like being a stuffy fucking bitch like she is? And then some guys they're like, "Welcome to Jamaica." And you know what I mean, yeah. like, I can't imagine her in Jamaica. That's crazy. Anyway, the she Bahamas. Probably just, they probably just took over that one just so they could uh, she can go vacation. America, no, right? Not America. No, she took over a bunch of cool places to go. St. Lucia, Grenada. Our, our Bahamas. dental will go down. Our <laughs> dental's going down as it is. Look at this. This is how fucking... These people, they, you just want to... If I had a boat, we would go to England now and just slap the a fucking... A boat? It'd have to be a ship, dude. I ain't going on a fucking boat with you. <laughs> we'd just slap the fucking taste out of her mouth. Because I know we'd have some little fucking rowboat. You know, you're like, dude, I got a fucking boat from Academy. The way the weather is here now, if it was like that in the ocean, it would right sink Academy. Huh? Okay. I said, the way the weather is here now, if it was that in the ocean and we were in it, it would sink us. It's all windy and rainy and shit. Okay, here it is. She was born in 26. She's 88 years old. Oh, I thought she was going to be way older than that. You're like, I thought 150. She was, I thought she was close to 100. She's like half that. All right, anyway, she's 88. That's yeah, but is that good in like England years? Those fucking unhealthy fucks. Drink that fucking hot tea or whatever. They drink hot tea. They eat those little fucking crumbly biscuits. Crumbly biscuits? Yeah, they eat it every day when they drink their tea. Every day? Scones. They eat that every day with their tea. Yeah, their tea has something to do with the queen, I think. I don't know if she started. Look at this. So this is how stupid those fucking English cunts are. She was born in 26. Here's the name of where she was born. I'm saying that's stupid. Here, everybody like, ooh, I can't wait for, you know, America's Got Talent. No, yeah, that's stupid you too. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean she's not stupid. Yeah, the, the whole, they're doing drinking tea because the... Queen? I don't know. That's... She was born in Mayfair, comma, London, comma, England, comma, United Kingdom. God damn. Just say Mayfair. Why are you going to put all that other shit? That'd be like me saying, they're like, hey, Jeremy, where were you born? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I was born in the United States, or I guess you go backwards. You're I was like, born in Ganado, Jackson County, Texas, United States, southern part of the United States, America, world. <laughs> Hemisphere, and then world. <laughs> and then you're like... And then you say the galaxy. And then somebody's like, huh? I'm like... I said, did I you say born... the galaxy? They didn't say the galaxy. <laughs> no, they might as well have. She probably owns... She has a religion. She, her religion is Anglican. What? Like, the, the religion that she, like, follows. Oh, shit. She follows a religion that says she's better than everybody else. Because in her religion... If you're any kind of Christian, you can't be a king. Oh, um, yeah. I can't... It says that her, uh... Oh, ancestry. Her name is. You're sitting right here. They're on the windshield. Right here. It looks like Jesus. Is it Jesus? Yeah, it's Jesus' face. See it? Jesus is on my windshield. You knock him off of there? (laughs) Yeah. Ah, you can't because it's on the inside. He's like banging on the glass. (laughs) I mean, guys, it's raining. (laughs) You ever see those things? I mean, I know you have, but. Where somebody says they saw Jesus in their toast. Oh, yeah, or their tortilla or <laughs> Tortillas or something. Or some, it's always the kind of food that poor people like. You never see some, like, you know, some guy that's a lawyer and making, like, 
500 bucks an hour, and he's like, uh, I was eating sushi last night, and I saw Jesus in the sushi. He's like, my caviar has a, uh, has a <laughs> Jesus yeah. on it's, it's it's always white trash, or I mean, it's a lot of times Mexicans, but it's like poor people. It's always yeah. poor people. And I wonder, because does Jesus just like poor people more? Or is it easier to embed your own image? He was a poor person, right? Yeah, Jesus was poor. But what I'm saying is, like, Jesus wants to show his face, but it's easier to put your image on poor people. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's cheaper. Yeah, it's, it's like cheaper. advertisements. Why is he going to advertise in sushi? It costs twice as much. <laughs> He's like, God ah, damn, I can't afford it. He's like, I can either put a, on a lot of different things. <laughs> a lot of toast. One, you know? He's a like, lot. besides, we don't need those fucking rich fuckers anyways. They're not, they aren't coming to us anyways. Unless you, you get know? to take your money to heaven. Which I think you should. What's the point of working your whole life on some shit job? Yeah, but a lot of those guys got it the bad way, so they might not. Yeah. They might not make it. I hope they know. probably do. It's probably all, those guys are probably the ones that get up there because God loves money. Remember? <laughs> so uh, he's a big fan. I think. Oh shit! You think? Oh shit! You ever burp? And it's one of those burps that has so much pressure behind it. You're scared you're gonna like rupture or something. Mm. It's like you burp, and instead of it coming out, like you feel it come up through your throat, you feel it like do the last, like it stops mid chest. Mm-hmm. And like, I think this is a heart attack start. I've had a heart attack. Yeah, you burped first, I bet. I don't know, it must have been in my sleep, though. Isn't it weird that you had a heart attack? Mm-hmm. You were like 17. What's crazy is, dude, it was like 10 years ago this February. They say that 10 years later, you always have another one. Really? A f- a f- uh, an old friend of mine that's 34, I guess, 35, died from a heart attack today. Oh, he is that old? Yeah, he's a year older than than Amanda and Joanna. Oh shit, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's special for me since I've had two. What the fuck is that? You know? Yeah, he's just like. Anytime you hear something like that, you're like, oh well, he's like sixty. I'm half that age. Then he's that age, like, oh, he's thirty four. I'm f- three years younger than that age. <laughs> Eventually, it's gonna be like, oh, he's thirty. I'm older than him. You're like, oh. Like, that oh. chest pain I had the other day might be... You're always out on, of gas, dude. Yeah, I know. I never put very much in it. I put a little bit at a time. The windows are all fucking cleared up now? Yeah, because the AC set them. Jesus is gone. It's fucking lightning, dude. <laughs> yeah. Zeus is pissed, right? Yeah, he's... Mad or he's just stuff. practicing his arm, right? There's a yeah. big game going on. Everybody says he's pissed. Yeah. Right? Uh, Maybe he's just he target has, practicing. Yeah, you know? he, he he's like, there's a tree, and he's he's throwing them at trees. Yeah, you don't just hit your wife when you're mad at her. There's some tree that had a, you know, that he's trying to split in two, and he just throws them at them. Sometimes he tries to throw them at uh, telephone poles, and sometimes people. That's when he's really ha- really having fun. <laughs> yeah. That's when he's really like stepping up his game. Yeah, he's, he's like, look at that guy running right there. I want to hit him. You know, <laughs> you gotta lead him a little. He's like, he's a lot smaller. He's running. Yeah. If I was a god, I would spend almost all my time throwing lightning at people. Oh shit! Stuff. Yeah, it, the whole world be just covered with storms. You know, everywhere, and just be throwing them everywhere. But I would do like trick shots. Like there'd be a. I'd hit the queen. Oh yeah. I'd hit the queen just when she's supposed to take a sip of her fucking tea. Just as the tea. Like, no, I'd, I'd zap that fucking teacup out of her hand. You know? <laughs> and then when she looks around all frantic, start shooting shit off the shelves. Yeah. Oh, Dude, wouldn't it be cool to be like a ghost? You know, like a ghost. And just fuck with people. Yeah, but I, I thought about it one time when I was like a teenager, and then I was like, wait, all I would do is look at chicks naked. Yeah, you just stand. I wouldn't get anything you, else yeah, done. Yeah, you'd probably like find a, like a really hot one and just like follow her throughout her day until she gets to her house. You know, because you got to find out where she lives. And then have a list of all the best houses. <laughs> <laughs> and times. Yeah, and times. You have to have a ghost list, though. You can't have a piece of paper you carry around. Yeah, it's got to no. be ghost paper. It's got to be ghost paper. So, you'd have to kill a tree. <laughs> no, I think that... you have to kill a tree and, and use ghost sawdust. I think that after you die, your memory gets better. You think? Well, yeah, because they always... I don't believe in ghosts, though. Yeah, I but, don't believe in any of that shit after. When you're dead, you're fucking dead. How are you going to look at naked girls? Well, I mean, it'd be cool to be a ghost, <laughs> but, you know? And not like fucking Casper. I mean, like... No, because Casper in real life would have been watching the chick take showers. But it would suck, you know, because, you, you know, everyone always says, like, there's there's certain theories on the ghost thing that you can move stuff. 
and some of them think you just can't at all. But it would suck when you're like sitting there and you're watching TV and they change it and you're like, you fucker. I was watching that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, change it back, change it back. And they're fucking watching Oprah and you're like, God damn it. Put it back on Shawshank. You know, like. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, I fucking, I'm dead because I killed myself because Oprah. I'd go to the fucking the theater, dude. Me. I'd probably spend all my time at the theater too, though. Just watching the fucking movies. Sit next to a hot chick? Well, I'll just watch the movies. I mean. But I'd probably get fucking pissed. You know, if someone's talking, and you're like, Ugh. you know? You would just be throwing punches, like, just, yeah, I know. your hand I'd stand right on my, my dick in their face, you know? Like, <laughs> my ghost dick. Watch the movie with your ass on their nose. And if you can mess with people, dude, that'd be fun. Like, trip people, <laughs> you know, and, like, knock the popcorn out of their hand or something. Just nonstop fucking with people. It's like when you see someone just, like, you know, like, whenever their, uh, their knee gives out? That's me. You know, like... Knocking their right behind their behind their knee, making them their where they're. That's what it is. If ghosts exist, I think that's what it is. They're just fucking with people. That's the one thing they can do. I would say that ghosts. When people say like ghosts can exist and they can move stuff, I would say that's pretty. I'm pretty certain that they either don't exist or can't move stuff mm-hmm. because shit would be moving nonstop. Yeah. You know how many people have died just today. A lot oh, yeah, if there was ghosts, it, it'd be, like, seriously packed everywhere. Yeah, there would be, like, ghosts. I mean, unless it's, like, you're only around for a little while. And then where the fuck Yeah, but what, once you're dead, what's a little while? Yeah, I know. Like, what's the difference in going straight to wherever you go when you die and being here for a week? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know. In, in the In the, if you're eternal. You're like, man, my seven days are almost up. If you're you know, eternal, like, there's no such thing as a week. Like, I've been watching these fucking movies in this theater for all this time. I should have been looking at naked chicks. I'm pretty sure that you would spend a lot of time looking at naked chicks. Probably so. At first, for sure. Definitely at first. As soon as you, you, would you go, realize you would no straight. one can see you, you would go straight. <laughs> I would go straight across over there. There's no. one over there that look, doesn't look too bad. You would go to where, like, the girl you went to high school with that was real pretty. You go, like, check, and you're like, oh, she got old. Yeah, you'd be like, okay, her, there's this other girl. And, yeah, you would have a list. You'd spend a couple days just trying to fucking find out where they live. Yeah. You know, and then you're like, god damn, where's she coming home from work? You know, you're like waiting. You know, you're like, I hope, I hope. She's just sitting on her couch. You're like, I hope she's been sweating and she wants to take a shower as soon as she gets here. Yeah, you're just sitting on her couch, like, you, you're like trying to stay awake. It'd be weird, though, seeing like. Do girls sleep? Do girls sleep? <laughs> do girls sleep? No, I was like, yeah, I think girls sleep. Crystal yeah. says she fucking never does because of Alex, but. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't believe in ghosts anyways. But... Yeah, but they must sleep, right? Well, think about it during the night. They're like, God damn, it's fucking boring. Right? Uh-huh. I don't know, though. All the fucking crazy shit that used to happen with us was always at night. So they're just restless. They <laughs> must not be able to sleep. <laughs> they're just they tired work- of shit, so they, that's why they knock over pans and open doors. And... Or maybe they just work nights. They sleep during the day. They work the know. night shift. I-, I think the day would be a lot more fun. You know? Yeah, but, but people, think about it. You have to go, like... It'd be easier right. to scare people. If you night. can't move something... If you can't, like, touch something and move it, how are you going to sit in a chair? How are you going to sit in a car? How are you going to... Well, yeah, that's the obvious... Stand on the ground and not just... You when know? they when you hear, like, stories about some ghost and he walked through the wall, if he would walk through the wall, then he would walk through the floor, too. The ground! Well, it, let's say the ground is, like, something that... Like, that's the barrier. Yeah. We're you, all made of the, the same shit. The wall and the floor are the same We're all made thing. of the same shit, but the wall he can go through and he <laughs> yeah, doesn't go exactly. through the fucking dirt. Exactly. Anyways, we're going to have to end this when it's already almost 39 minutes. I thought you were going to say... This will start out with rain and end up getting a little better. Yeah, I think the first, at least half of this, is probably going to put people in a bad mood. We never even said what episode it is either again. <laughs> I don't know. Eight, this is 18. 18. Oh, 18, yeah. This is episode 18. We're legal. You can fuck us. Now. Oh, you wanted to say that I so did. bad. I, I planned that for two weeks. It was raining so hard, though. And we, I forgot to ever... say we're legal. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we could have said this was 19. And you could have recorded Episode 19. 19. That's what you just listened to. Because are, are they going to be like, oh, no, this episode's 18. No, it's saying 19. Which one is it? Which one is it? Like, that's the most confusing thing on here. Yeah, we got to end it, though. We've, we've only done one over 40 minutes. So that's it. Find us on Facebook. We're gonna record another one. Uh, we'll we'll be bouncing back with episode nineteen soon. Yep. So see you later, assholes. Is that a, a decent way? No. Okay. See ya. <laughs>